Well, let's try to get down there. See if there's red eyes down there, huh? Well, we got an adventure, though. All right, let's roll. <laughs> I drove into a wildfire. So I don't know if it's smart to drive through this. No, we're good. It's clear. <laughs> There's a creek too. It's better be worth it. I've been trying to get to the same stream that I fished, and caught my first red eye below the falls, just a little further upstream. It looks like the stream's getting a little bigger now, and uh, I think we got a good access point if I can get to it. Well guys, if you can't tell the general theme of fishing this trip for red eyes is doing a lot of work to get to these places. They might not even have red eyes. Now as you heard before, I was fishing, or I plan on fishing the creek that I caught my first, just farther upstream. And uh, well, the road I'm supposed to be on to get here uh, is a forest service road and it's complete shit. There's no way you're taking a vehicle down it. So I'm hiking about a mile in. I was carrying my waders, my rod, all the gear in my back. And it looks like there's a creek right by the bridge crossing here that dumps into um, the stream that I'm going to be fishing. So hopefully it's got red eyes. It looked kind of small back there, but um, we just need one more red eye to say goodbye to Alabama, I guess. But I'll let you know when I hit the stream. Got one. <laughs> that was did not take long. Is that a spot? Go right on. That did not take long, guys. Cool. There's another little one with him too. Get that least guy out of the way. Yeah, one's already on it. <laughs> There's a bunch of little guys in here, isn't there? Yeah, there's a couple more fallen. Look at how pretty these things are, man. Let's see how quick I can, I bet you I can get another one right away. Oh, I'm getting bit right away. Oh, missed him. Well, I missed him. Let me get a crawler up. And we'll get going. There we go. And a red eye. Man, I just love these little guys even. They're so fun. Look at that. You guys are probably sick of me catching these things. <laughs> There's a red eye. Let's see. Uh, Let's see how long it takes to get another fish. Alright, next cast after that little red eye. It's gonna get hammered, I bet. <laughs> what do we got now? Crazy little guy. Another bluegill. It's not a bad bluegill for a stream like this. <laughs> Bass. And look at how small he is, but man, they just put up a fight. I seriously will never get old of these things. Aren't they the most pretty f fish out there?
don't think there's any big fish here. You can see him catch a lot. But since we're kind of limited on time, this is amazing. But there's another creek that dumps in further down, and I think it's going to be a little deeper, a little wider. Hopefully have, you know, like a 12-inch red eye to end the trip off of. But, uh, God, isn't this fun? I love this style of fishing, man. What it took to get back here, it's well worth it. Anyways, keep watching, because there's a lot more fish to come. Go get one right ass. I love when you can watch me eat it and just jack them. God, I mean, stream bluegill this size actually put up a decent fight. I know what you're You don't know the red eye. You just keep on coming. Red eye. <clears throat> God, they fight so hard. It's probably the best one of today. Another perfect red eye. Probably he's never seen a lure in his life. That's a better one. Yeah. I didn't even realize that I'm hooked. There we go. A little better of a fish. We ain't fishing for trophies here. I'm just glad to catch you. My last day here. There we go. There ain't a bad one. Red eye. Just an absolutely beautiful fish, man. I'm gonna miss these guys. They are a whole. Big bluegill. <laughs> Stream bluegill fishing. Whoa! Look at that. Alright, seriously, buddy, you can get off anytime now. Connor, this is for you. This is extreme bluegill fishing where you pull them over trees because it's extreme, brother. Oh, hey. Cool. Another long ear. Awesome. I think that's my, like, fourth or fifth long ear now. Nice effort, little guy. Just absolutely pretty, man. Alright guys, I'm going to stop you right there in this video. Normally I save the outro for last, um, but before I get my one last red eye, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to us, like this video, and check out our Instagram page, at LegendsOutdoors349. The reason I'm stopping you is because catching that last red eye, and I knew it was going to be my last fish, my last day in Alabama, was kind of sentimental to me. It was an awesome trip, uh, being able to explore these mountain streams, and uh, I tried to take that moment in right there. So I'm going to end this video on one last fish and then a little bit of uh, kind of a collection of the best clips of the trip. Anyways, Legends out. That's a better fish. Yep, fast.
That's gonna do it, guys. It's probably if I land him, it'll be my last red eye, I think. You gotta get going. That's gonna do it. That's it, guys. Last fish in Alabama. Let me get the big camera out. Well, guys, we got my last red eye. Just admire that fish right there. Absolutely beautiful. I'm really gonna miss these guys. And uh, it's been an absolutely amazing trip. These adventuring around these streams, catching red eyes has been unreal. They're one of my favorite fish. What an amazing place. Talladega National Forest, Alabama. If you're interested in this, you know, it's a pretty cheap, pretty cheap uh, trip you can do. You can just, some of these campsites are $3 a night and you can just do this all day. You got public land to explore. So, man, if you love bass, if you love adventuring, if you love even like trout fishing, I'm sure this is a fly angler's paradise too. I don't fly fish, but uh, it's a truly amazing place. First red eye bass right here. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna let him go. There he goes. Oh, I just watched him eat it. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is a big one. It's absolutely beautiful. That's a big one. Got, got one. It's a red eye. It's a red eye. I just caught a red eye. Look at it.